Welcome back to Builders to another diorama prop tutorial. What I have today for you guys is a tutorial of how to make a security camera to add more detail to your dioramas. As you can see, I just have it on an alligator clip so you guys can see how it looks like all set and done. And it does have a working lens on there. As you can see, hopefully your camera's picking it up. It's a glass lens in there. It's basically an LED. It does light up. So as always, guys, we're just going to get right into it. All right, so the first step is we're going to grab these finger lights. You can find these in many different stores. They're usually about a dollar or two dollars for a small pack. Um, I know you can find them in, on Amazon, on eBay, other places like that online as well. But we're going to go ahead and just do one today. I'm going to take the white one because it's going to be easier to spray paint. Um, and so the first step we're going to do is actually take off these bands. We're going to want to, uh, some of these have like a little groove right here, the band. Sorry about that. And we're going to go ahead and discard that. And now we're going to go ahead and just sand the whole body. We want to sand everything except the uh, little light right here because some of these are red light. So we're not going to want to sand these little lights just in case you want to use them and have that ability to turn them on while you're displaying them as security cameras. So we're going to go ahead and sand this right off. I'm going to sand a little bit right here on, on camera for you guys so you guys can see, see the process. Um, so we're going to just sand this up, take off all the little letters and all that kind of stuff, and we're going to come back to the next step. All right, now that we have the whole thing sanded and, and ready to go for paint, I'm going to go ahead and take some poster tack and go ahead and just cover up the little lens on here for the LED because I don't want to get paint on that. You can't mask this off with tape, but I just found out grabbing a little bit of poster tack and sticking it in there. You can kind of shape it around so when you do spray paint, you'll get that little edge right there with the spray paint. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this black, and we'll be right back with the next step. All right, now that it's all done and dry and painted, now we can move on to the next step, and we're going to make the little stand for it so you can plug it in right into your diorama so you can have your video camera looking over your hallways, your doorways, any valuables that your Marvel Legends are trying to secure or steal. So we're going to go ahead and move on to that next step. So here we are. I just have a regular matchstick right here in front of you guys. I'm going to go ahead and snap this in half. And you're going to want to leave that joint in there. You don't want to completely snap it in half. And then we're going to take a little bit off right here so we could attach the video camera on there. Or the security camera on there. And we'll go ahead and add a blob of hot glue right here to keep this in place. And then I'm going to attach the security camera right on top. All right, after I cut it right there, right where we had that band. I'm going to uh, hot glue it right on there. But before I hot glue everything together, I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, hot glue that joint right here, and then spray paint this black as well, and then we're gonna come back and attach it. And there we go, Diary Builders, it's already set and done. I painted up the matchstick and I glued it right into place. As you can see, I put a blob of hot glue right here to keep the joint nice and stiff, and then one right here to attach it to the matchstick, and then I just painted everything black, the same type of black I used on here. As you can see, it looks like a security camera that you could put up on your dioramas. And we didn't get any paint on the lens, so as you can see, it looks like an actual working lens in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and hit that sexy subscribe button. Uh, what I have for you today is a 112 scale or a... Uh, fuck.